Occupy, build up, intimidate, repeat. This is China's policy towards its neighbors, a policy which I repeat has no filters, be it small islands or big neighbors. The Chinese regime wants to occupy territories wherever it can, however it can. Weeks after it provoked India and Ladakh, China is now eyeing land on the roof of the world, Bhutan. China has laid claim to the Sakting Wildlife Sanctuary. One of Bhutan's many protected areas spread across 650 square kilometers of land. It falls in the Trashi Gang district, located in the easternmost part of the kingdom. This sanctuary is said to be a lost world of biodiversity waiting to be discovered. It houses a wide diversity of terrestrial ecosystems and it's home to isolated nomadic tribes. China says the sanctuary is on Chinese land. This is the first public instance of China making border claims in eastern Bhutan. It happened at a virtual meeting of the Global Environment Facility, the GEF. A proposal to develop this, this, develop this sanctuary was made at this meeting. China called the area disputed and opposed the request. Let me quote the reasons. The Sakteng Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the China-Bhutan disputed areas, which is on the agenda of the China-Bhutan boundary talks. China opposes and does not join the council decision on this project. A disputed area, say the Chinese. Is it really? Last we checked, it wasn't disputed. It was never featured in the many boundary talks between China and Bhutan. Chinese maps as old as 1962 show this sanctuary and surrounding areas as lying with Bhutan. So on what basis is Beijing laying claim to it now? the same overused two-word answer, historical precedent. You see, the sanctuary was once a part of Tibet. An agreement in 1715, 1715, between the Tibetan local government and Bhutan affirmed Tibet's sovereignty over it, 1715. But Bhutanese herders were still allowed to use and develop these grasslands. And in 1949, it officially became a part of Bhutan. It has since lawfully belonged to Bhutan. Since 18, 1984, Bhutan and China have held 24 comprehensive boundary talks. And they've signed several resolutions. Not once did the Sakting Sanctuary come up during these talks. Not once was it disputed by China. Not until now. So is China's claim justified? It isn't, not by a long shot. Try telling that to the Chinese Foreign Ministry. If their statements are anything to go by, the issue is set to complicate further in the coming days. The Chinese Foreign Ministry is saying, and I quote, the boundary between China and Bhutan has never been delimited. In simpler words, it means that China and Bhutan do not have a defined border. There are no fixed boundaries. And so the Sakteng Wildlife Sanctuary, as the Chinese now call it, is disputed land. Does this sound familiar? China used the same reasons to provoke India in Ladakh, no defined borders. It said that the line of actual control had never been defined. It has used the same logic to increase its military presence in disputed areas. And now it clearly wishes to do the same in Bhutan. But much like New Delhi, Thimpu has decided to not take it lying down. It has issued a demarche to the Chinese embassy in New Delhi. Bhutan has categorically stated that the sanctuary is a quote-unquote integral and sovereign territory of Bhutan. 